well, how do there chums? Today I want to talk about No Man's Sky, and I also made a sort of prediction, perhaps, or speculation that these new ships that you see behind me right here could be racing ships. But what if they're not? What? What else could they be? That's what I want to talk about today, chums. I mean, yes, they're covered in decals, decals that look like they're racing decals especially sort of like the aluminous ones that you're seeing on the wings and stuff like that and especially the one on the nose that you can see here we're going to talk about this one on the nose in a moment because yes over in the actual nexus inside the spatial anomaly it's only available you only see these decals in one area and it's that one area that i want to take a look at and why we use that one area as to why i think there might be an alternate idea behind what I thought might be a racing ship. Just as an alternative suggestion of what it could be, I'm still 80% sure that it's gonna end up being some kind of racing ship, but we shall see people, because there is another alternative to this that I think is equally as plausible. So I want to get into that, people. So let's jump on over into the game universe and I'll show you what I mean. Chikapow! So here I am inside of the old Nexus. Now, when you look around inside of the Nexus, if I go into camera mode, so I was watching Rice's Starship Emporium's video on this. Hit up Rice's video over here and take a watch because he points out that this sort of decal that's on the nose of the ship is everywhere. Despite all of these landing pads down here, it's right up top up there. It's on the walls. It's pretty much everywhere. It's over there. It's slapped just there. It's everywhere in this area where we land our ships where we land our ships and even on some of these sorts of like pillars as we're flying into the space anomaly it's blinking everywhere in this front area of the anomaly now the main structure in the front area of this anomaly is this cube just here and this cube just here is actually the Nexus. This part of the spatial anomaly is called the Nexus, okay? So I'm wondering whether the ship that we're going to be getting is a Nexus running ship. So it's a ship made for pretty much running Quicksilver missions, okay? Now, if it is a ship for running Quicksilver missions, then could it just simply be a Quicksilver reward? I mean, that could be it, couldn't it? It could just be a Quicksilver reward ship that we're going to get from Johnny of the Fives. Maybe for running some sort of expedition or doing something special for Nada and Polo. But as soon as you go up these ramps, what was appearing all over the freaking shop, this logo here. I mean, it's right freaking where I was standing. But as soon as you enter up these ramps, that sort of like decal disappears. You don't see it anywhere. You still see these green and orange lines or turquoise and orange lines or blue and red lines, however you want to say it, slapped about the place, which also feature on the ship. But you're not going to see those decals, apart from if you look right up there, which you're going to see it up there still. But yeah, it's not actually on the floor around here. And it's not anywhere else to be seen. I mean, you still see these orange and green lines sort of sort of racing against each other in a roundabout way. So I still think it's going to be racing. But I just want to point out that Ricey has pointed out that those decals do not feature anywhere else inside of the Nexus, inside of the Space Anomaly, apart from down by the Nexus Cube, the mission area. So maybe that ship is going to be used for some sort of special mission running. Perhaps it's going to be used for raids. Perhaps it's going to be used for something completely different, people, inside of the view of us. Yes. Then you're probably wondering, well, what about those crossed flags that look like racing flags that are featuring inside of the new station? Yeah, I haven't really got an answer for that either. I think there's more evidence to point towards this being some kind of racing ship than it being anything else i just want to put it out there that there is equal well not equally as a chance but there is a chance that it could just be some sort of quicksilver or mission reward considering that the only place that we're seeing those decals that are similar to those on the ship outside inside of this area out here just off this mezzanine you can see it pretty much everywhere the only other thing that I think it might be related to is this chap here. 
Now, at the moment, this assembled construct does fudge all. I mean, we've assembled him. Doesn't do anything. I'm wondering whether he's going to give us some more mission sets. Maybe going into the realm of glass. Maybe going into the void. Maybe we need some sort of void runner. Some sort of realm of glass runner. Some sort of special ship to allow us to do that. Maybe he's going to give us said special ship. I really don't know. I mean, I've tried looking at some of the decals on him. The only curious one is the one on his kneecaps. But it doesn't really coincide with what we're seeing outside of here. I mean, look, you can see it on the wall over there. But I'm not seeing similar decals on this chap anywhere. So, yeah, I really don't know. I'm more inclined to think that he's going to send us looking for scrap or something because he's made out of the freaking stuff. He still looks like a junk pile. But who's to say he's not going to get a spruce up and a polish and look more autophagy like, I don't know. I mean, I'm speculating here, people. Speculating. We're going by what's like a seven second piece of footage and trying to work out what it might mean for the future, people. So it might not be ship racing. It might just be some sort of mission ship that we're going to be given as a reward or to run some sort of crazy missions in. I really don't know. I'm just putting it out there that the whole racing idea is exactly that. It's an idea. It's a bit of speculation. I'm going to say that it's got a good chance of being legit. But, you know, but then again, so has the chance of it just being a Quicksilver mission reward or expedition reward. And it might not be it might not be anything overly too special, but we'd have to wait and see what the future brings. Now, I think we're going to see that update happen around February time, people inside the view of us. And why am I thinking February time, people in the view of us? Well, we've got the expeditions going at the moment, and I think after the expedition reduxes, they're going to end like what mid January time. I think then we're going to get a little bit of a breather. We get to run all the decals that are coming inside of the Quicksilver store because we've got three more decals yet to come. If I can just get into here quickly, I will show you what I mean. So if I open up the No Man's Sky Assistant app and I go into Community Missions, if I hit Next on here, we've got these three decals left to go. So yeah, we've got like a little fluttering decal. Let's make that a bit bigger for you on the screen. So we've got that one. We've got a little sort of like weird butterfly type dragonfly thing. Then next off, we have that one, which is a beetle decal, I guess. And then the last one, these all cost 400 quicksilver each. We have this one, which is like a blue planet -y type one. So we've got those three decals. They're going to appear after the actual... Um, expedition run and then i think after the expedition run we're going to see some sort of you know the expedition redux reduxes we're going to see those decals appear in the quicksilver store once they hit about 90 percent on the very last one that blue planet one then i think we're going to see an update fall into the verse around february early to mid feb i say around maybe the week of the 14th of feb something like that near valentine's day that sort of week and uh, yeah, I mean, that's when Companions dropped and a few other updates. It's my birthday that week, so I've got a fairly good memory for when we have updates in February. So yeah, I think that's pretty much what we're in line for. It's some sort of Feb update that's going to bring in another expedition and those new stations, perhaps the next part of the ARG arc, and hopefully give some answers to this conundrum. Of what the fudge is that ship that we're seeing in the background here, people? But yeah, my bets is that it's going to be some sort of racing ship. But I also think it is possible that it could just be a Quicksilver reward. And it's to do with the Nexus part of the spatial anomaly. Anyway, thank you very much, Ricey, for your speculation. Yes, and uh, it does make me query and quandary whether it is going to be a racing ship. Oh, I did mention those double cross flags, didn't I? Oh, well, I will cover that in a sec. Okay, well, let's jump on and back on over into game. Now I'm in the current space stations, yes. Been saying for some time that these sort of mezzanines are too close to the ships, and I thought that they'd be doing an interior overhaul or rework. I've been thinking that since they brought in the new Explorer types that clip these freaking mezzanines. But anyways, let's head on over here. It's a shame that we're going to be losing all these little mini reflections inside of the actual surface here, isn't it? Now, something that's a little bit odd is this chap over here yeah now you see the actual the actual symbols that are bouncing up and down on this screen right here they look very similar to the actual symbols on the nose of the ship if you put them inside of a line 
You know, pretty darn freaking weird. I mean, they do look similar, don't they? I mean, if I jump, just jump back over inside of my actual view here for a second, and if I hit up play on the back of here, let's just have a quick look-see at the nose of that ship. They're similar, they're not the same. Similar, but not the same. I mean, one or two maybe are fairly the much on par. But yeah, pretty odd. It's almost like there's a separate glyph set going on here, people, isn't it? I mean, they're very, very reminiscent. They are. Anyways, let's, uh, let's just jump back over into game. So I'm wondering whether it might be some sort of scrappy junk runner type ship, mission running ship, rather than it being some sort of racing ship. But as we head on over to these kiosks, at the moment they haven't got any signs above them. So there's nothing to sort of say which kiosks are going where inside of the new station layout. And again, you've got these visual display boards that give some sort of weird glyphs. But yeah, you can't really see the multi-tool vendor sort of glyphs playing part in that. And then there's the ship vendor guy. Again, there's no ship marker on there or ship sign. But look at this. When you look at the actual Exocraft vendor, okay, he's got the Exocraft initiator at the top, but he's also got a checkered flag either side of here, which almost looks racy like. So, although that we're seeing double crossed flags, this actual kiosk has double crossed flags in a roundabout way. It's got two flags either side anyway. So, who's to say that that double crossed flag that we're seeing at the back? of the actual new station types isn't anything only but maybe an exocraft technician it might just be an exocraft technician people i just want to put that out there i mean look this guy he's got the actual he's got the right icon there it's a shame they all haven't got their icons there it's a shame that this one doesn't have the same one as what we see inside the nexus and they none of them have apart from this this sort of like little chamber here that has the logo at the moment none of the others have the ship signs or, or the shop sh signs i should say so yeah it doesn't quite tally up so we can't say hand on heart or at least i can't say hand on heart exactly what's going to be coming from that trailer that we've seen so i just wanted to put that out there people just wanted to quell the flames slightly and the hype that it could be sort of uh, ship racing i'm hoping it is I'm hoping it is. All logical reason sort of says that it is. But yeah, who freaking knows? Anyways, let's just jump back over to me for a second. So if you're wondering where I mean on the old uh, the ship flags, let me show you. I mean, this is quite quick. It's over there in the top corner. There. Just over there in the background over there. That's where you see the sort of crossed over flags. Anyway, people, that's pretty much everything I've got for you uh, on this episode. It's just to say... There could be alternate reasons for that ship that we're seeing. It could just be a Quicksilver mission reward. It could be for running Quicksilver missions. It could be for running a new set of missions that we might see from that autophagy guy. It could be all sorts of stuff is what I'm saying. So, yeah, although that I'm speculating that it's ship um, racing, and there's the double cross flags over there, it's going a little bit slower. But these are the shop signs that I was on about as well. So that one there has got a ship on it. That one there was the exosuit technician bay, which does marry up to that one up there. So we do know that it is the station. It is definitely a station. It's not inside of the Nexus, as some people were also saying inside of my comments. But anyway, salute to Mondo, people. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.